Let's get started, shall we? Now, this is our box of stuff. Oh, this is our box of stuff. And by the way, yes, Max is in our inventory. We can pick him up. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. Let's have a little fun. Vertical silverware storage. The eye looks. We've been through a lot together, this TV and I. We can talk to people. Are you as confused as I am? More so. I'm excited. Who isn't? What's a good word, little buddy? Lumbar. What's a good word, little buddy? Creosote. Oh, you cut up the floors. It's kind of cool. You're looking hale and hearty, little buddy. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. Well, that's all. So as you can see, you can kind of talk to people, and it gives you the different topics. This is like a use, so you interact with the environment rather than, um... And yes, we have to do that, because we're going to need hey, money. Never leave home without it. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. So that's our first inventory item. This is no time for chit-chat. We'll also need... We can always return here, so nobody panic. It's Max's roach farm. Max will feed the roaches. It's a black light that Max uses to illuminate his rare 60s posters. However, we're going to need that black light. Trust me on this. So we're going to take it. So, as you can see, we have a bit of an inventory now. And by the way, we can also do this, because funny. Now, I'm going to try something really quick. Okay, that's pause, which could actually be useful for reading the game. The, the, I don't know what that was. Switch. No, we didn't want to do that. Um, so yeah, I can't figure out how to actually go into a save menu. So I'm kind of stuck on that. So I'm going to have to play this all in like one shot, basically. Why don't go upstairs? Not since the accident. I, I really want to know what the accident is. So, there's nothing for else for us here, so we're gonna head downstairs to find that bonded courier. Joe, you want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece of this. Brutal. But very true to life. And there's one for your old man. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. Guess he had it coming to him. Can't really look at that. Yeah, they kind of idolize uh, Flint paper. Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte. You're such an adorable urchin, Max. I sense sarcasm. Um, I will point out that eventually we will get some of the flint paper. Vehicles will be stolen. No way. Soiled office space available. Ew. Oh, 
It's a cute little hypercephalic kitten. I am repulsed by his bulging eyes. <laughs> Tear no prize. I love this car. You're a sick puppy, Sam. I think they had a TV show about that. By the way, um... Just a bunch of intoxicated pigeons. Why are they fucking intoxicated? Somebody's been ripping off the U.S. Postal Service. Let's go say hi to Bosco. I mean, it's tradition. Hey, I don't think Mr. Bosco's voluntarily giving away his money. Oh, I'm real terrified. A dog and a rabbit. Ooh, scary. It's the rabbit. Max, the smart-ass kid doesn't think we're scary. <laughs> what do you think about that? That's telling him, little buddy. I think that punk learned a valuable lesson, Sam. Ow. Me too, Max. I didn't realize that the lower lip could stretch completely over the head. Amazing. They say that's a pain comparable to childbirth, by the way, folks. Yes, um... I don't speak pigeon. Never mind. Okay, so the only other living thing around here, since we can't really talk to Bosco... Hello. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? No, the other hypersalic kitten that's around. Maybe. Are you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kind of cute, Sam. You hated him earlier! Out of him? No! Maybe later, Max. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry, guys. I swallowed your orders for safekeeping. But now I can't seem to hock them back up. I hear that's a common problem. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Don't get smart with me, bub. Or my partner will floss every last crevice on his body with your whiskers. Ew. That's unsanitary, Sam. Yeah, for the cat. Yeah, for some reason... Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Can't really speed through dog. Your head is disturbingly disproportionate to your body. No kidding. It's the vocal cords. You'd be amazed how much room they take up. You know, I actually wouldn't be surprised. Now, how do we get this guy to cough up the orders? Well, Max kind of wants to play with the kitten, and as much as I really don't want to let him, since cats are kind of my favorite animal. I just love to turn this guy inside out. Ooh, that gives me an idea. I'm pretty sure a black light isn't gonna work, and grabbing him isn't gonna work because he's just having trouble hawking it up. According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was the whole point. I th maybe we should check mind. it out when we've got nothing better to do, like any time. Well, we have our orders, quite literally. So, let's hop in. Yep! This is before Max crashed this particular car. Now, this is our, basically our hub. Um, you see there are three hamburgers. There's This is a mini game I'll show off later. And there is the carnival. Trust me, we're gonna need that. We're gonna get this done now. Because... Two things. Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky U for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me, what can I do for you? Snucky U? That sounds exciting. Oh boy. Or at least distracting. Oh, it is. Snucky U is where all Snucky's employees are sent to learn the ins, the outs, the ups, the downs, 
the overs, and the unders of the amazing gastronomical and cultural phenomenon that is Snuckies. Fascinating. No, it's not. Humor him. Uh, at Snucky U, we're given intensive courses in patty pounding, choosing the right button for soft drinks, and the all-important pickle jar opening. I had no idea you were so rigorously trained. Hey, I can open any jar in the country. I cool. understand. I understand. No, it's that. not. Now, how can I put all that Snucky U training to use for you? I was gonna say, the patty pounding sounds like basically a cooking course, which, okay, that actually kind of makes sense if you're gonna be working in basically what is a fast food joint. And the jar opening thing, knowing how to open a jar properly is very useful. How the fuck would you hit the wrong button on a soda machine? The self-serve ones, you don't get any training to use, and they're pretty much the same thing as the, um... As the, um... Ah! If you fuck that up, you're an idiot. Are you sure Snucky U's not in the Bowl Coalition? Positive. Now, what can I do for you? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Let's take a look around before Max... He really loves his ice cream. Genuine Native American drums, manufactured by genuine Native Koreans. It's a shelf full of Snucky's crap. I think Sam says we're cynical in this one. It's a box of pecan flavored candies. Me and my husband do not eat those. I gotta go to the bath. Bingo! It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max portable car bomb games. That's what we wanted to hear. Not the car bomb games, the I gotta go to the bathroom. Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky U for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me, what can I do for you? My little buddy has to use the facilities. Facilities be damned, I need a bathroom. They're in the back, here's the key. There's an awfully big rasp attached to that keychain. Out of toilet paper? Nah, we just had problems with thugs stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine counties. The Only keys? Nine? The restrooms. The keys are cleanest in ten. Help, little buddy? I think I can handle this myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? Nope. Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Now we gotta intercept Max quickly. Of course, he goes around the long way. This is going to slow us down considerably. Max! Are you as confused as I am? More so. There we go. I think we should keep the rasp. You're probably right. No one deserves to use restrooms that clean. <laughs> well, that's all. Okay. We're also going to need these. We're going to visit the other two Snuckies to show you what they are. Let's see if this guy actually talked to us. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. what? Excuse me. What? Mm -hmm. Sharing this experience with you has reminded me. I want Twinklies! More Twinklies! Well, that was completely useless. So we might not get a lot done today. Hey, nice hat. We all get one when we graduate Snucky U. But enough about me. What can I do for you? I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? I'll also take these disgusting pecan treats. Anything else? 
What can you tell me about these? <laughs> That's a box of our world-famous Snuckies pecan-flavored candy. Beloved treat of couch potatoes everywhere. Anything else? Are you sure Snucky U's not in the Bowl Coalition? Positive. Now, what can I do for you? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Well now, we got two things. One is a little bonus and one we actually need. Let's head to the other Snuckies. And by the way, yes. If Max spontaneously grew antlers, he still wouldn't be this ugly. I will point out that there's always a different uh, symbol here. This different... is what they do to merry-go-round horses who won't stay with a pack. <laughs> Hey, wait, will Max use it? I'd ride this fiendish quarter grabber, but my lumbago's acting up. Um, basically what I was going to say is, let's use the car. Each Snuckies has a different little, as you can see, this one has a lobster. Well, crawfish, I guess I should say. Crawdad. It's the mother of all crawdads. Yeah, crawdad. They say here, crawdad, crawdaddy, or crayfish or crawfish. They're all the same. And a donut. The guy's in a different shirt. And a different bonus. A paint by numbers. And a different guy. You're awfully cheery for a minimum wage earner. All Snucky U graduates have completed courses in excessive and unwarranted cheerfulness. But enough about me. What can I do for you? That's just motherfucking creepy! I didn't know he said that. That sounds like a brainwashing thing. I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of, of course, course I he do. does. Here. Will that be all for you today? That'll be all. Anything else? Nothing. Oh you have no idea how often I hear that. You. He's one hell of a soda jerk. He's not my type. I don't indiscriminately use people, except Max. Hey, let's use Max on then. I want to do that. I don't think he'd want that. I don't think he'd want that. Darn. I figured I'd have a little fun. So this is basically just me showing off a little bit more of the game. Um, more than getting to our objective. Um... There's one more. <laughs> Giant ass cactus with a face. I had face. no idea cacti were so festive. They're not. And the symbol this time is a corn dog. I like corn dogs. I can't pick the. And the guy's in pink now. And the last one. It's bonus. a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max dress up books. Let's just buy this and get it over with. I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? And? Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? That'll be all. Yep. And no, we're not returning the restroom key to any of the schnuckies. Because the rasp is actually going to be the most useful thing in the world. So let's get out of here. I think that's our home base. I think I'll show the mini games off now. Yep. Us goofing around doing this. Out. 
Like, I could start just... Yo, let's see if I can get more of these or not. Look, he's Mario! <laughs> I shouldn't have gone into that mini game, and then I'm gonna just let the time run out on its own. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye.